Factory built homes. Factory built homes are an amazing improvement on stick build. And not only are they quicker to build, but they're often eco-friendly. So there's some really cool ideas coming out. And in fact, more than 15% of California homes are now factory built. These are not your grandfather's mobile homes. There are many different options to choose from, but it's important to understand the codes behind that. HUD manufactured homes are homes approved nationally and certified by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. You will know this because they have a tag on them. It's a usually an orange tag. And they're built so beautifully that they often look exactly like a, a stick built house. If they don't, you can also stucco them, add a new roof, etc., to make it look like it matches the primary house that is stick built. So you have that matchy matchy look that is often required in homeowners associations. Pre modular and prefab units are also being built. Those are built to IRC, which is a state building code, and it's approved and regulated by the local permit office as well. Tiny homes, and particularly tiny homes on wheels, are where people get into trouble. These are regulated by uh, the, the, as RVs or temporary living, they are not built to local housing codes, and therefore they are not treated uh, as, an, as part of the real estate. Therefore, you cannot do real estate loans. You need to do chattel loans on them, and those are often much more expensive. You also want to ask really tough questions about factory built homes because I'm seeing too many cheap homes being built. And especially if you're in a very hot area or very cold area, you're asking for trouble. You need to ask all of these plans uh, about all of these questions here. You need to know if you kick it, will it dent? So visiting the factory can be done and should be done. Also, if it folds up, it can also fold down on top of you in a strong wind. So make sure you know the codes to which these homes are built. You wanna physically see them in person, and I would encourage you to see the plant as well. There are many in the Bay Area of California especially, but there are all over the country as well.